Hello! In this video, we will look at the different Arduino boards available on the Arduino web store. We won't be covering every single board, as there are over 20 different ones. We also won't go deeper into all the specifications of a board. Instead, we will discuss properties that are good to take into account when choosing a board for your project, as well as highlight some boards and board types. Let's discuss the important features first. The list is pretty long, as it highly depends on the type of project the board is meant to be used for. But we'll quickly go through the list. First, the physical properties, such as dimensions, weight and the number of pins. Regarding pins, we also need to think about the number of PVM, analog in, analog out pins and of course the resolution of the ADCs and DACs. Next, the processing power and current requirements. The processing power consists of the processor and the amount of memory. Is the processor a normal 8-bit one or a more powerful 32-bit one? And is the amount of memory enough for our code? Current requirements are divided into operating and input voltage, current draw and output current of the pins. Lastly, the connectivity and sensors of the board. The boards can have type B, mini B or micro B USB ports. Many boards also offer built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, IMUs, temperature sensors, etc. Depending on the project, it can be handy to have these straight on the board. The boards without any additional features are called entry-level. They are good all-rounders and work in most basic projects. The Arduino Uno is the most well-known board. Its simplicity and flexibility are reasons why it's commonly used in education and hobby projects. Equipped with the Atmega 328P microcontroller, 14 digital I.O. pins, 6 PVM and 6 analog inputs, it's a solid option for beginners. A very similar board is the Arduino Leonardo. The layout of the board is the same as the Uno's, but the pins have more use cases. It has one additional PVM and four additional analog inputs. Using an Atmega 32U4 microcontroller means it has native USB, which allows it to easily be programmed as a USB device for example, like a mouse or keyboard. If you need a smaller Arduino without losing performance, then the Nano or Micro versions can be what you are looking for. Their dimensions are only 18 x 45 mm or 48 mm in the case of the Micro. One can think of the Nano as a shrunk down version of Uno and Micro as a shrunk down version of Leonardo. Despite their small sizes, they still have an equal amount or more of I.O. pins. The following boards include built-in sensors or additional features that the entry levels once lack. If you need a lot more I.O. pins and memory without size being an issue, then the Arduino Mega can be a good option. It has 54 digital pins of which 15 have PVM functionality. Additionally, it has 16 analog input pins, 8 times more flash memory and SRAM, and an EEPROM 4 times larger than the Arduino Uno. The additional features of the Mega board and even more processing power are exactly what the Arduino Duo offers. It has a 32-bit ARM Cortex-M3 CPU with much higher clock speeds and larger memories. This allows it to run more complex programs with ease. Note, however, that it has a 3.3 volt operating voltage. Additional features do not necessarily mean larger boards. The Nano 33BLE and Nano 33BLE Sense pack an incredible amount of sensors and power in the same small size as the original Nano. They both have 32-bit 64 MHz processors, 9-axis inertial units, Bluetooth and Bluetooth low energy. The Sense also contains all of these sensors. Music 
It can be a bit of a hassle to add all kinds of IoT connectivity modules to your Arduino Uno. A much better idea is to buy a board that includes these from the start. The Nano 33 IoT and Arduino Wi-Fi Revision 2 both offer built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. In regards to performance and pin layout, they can be compared to the non-IoT versions. The Maker boards, MKR for short, have standardized sizes, pin layouts and processors. The different Maker board versions contain everything from normal Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to GSM, WAN, Sigfox, Narrowband and much more. They also include the necessary components for making their use as easy as possible. This means, for example, built-in crypto chips to ensure secure communication. As you can see, there are tons of microcontroller boards available. In addition to the ones presented in this video, there are also other manufacturers with their own boards. Having watched this video, you now know what Arduino has to offer. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.